Namaskaram, this is Sai Krishna in Love with Marketing. We all know what Gen AI has been bringing to our lives and marketing and sales is no exception. It is contributing a lot. A lot of people are scared if generative AI is going to take away their jobs. But generative AI is here to empower or assist sales and marketing jobs if you are able to leverage it. Right now you are looking at generative AI as one of the tools but in the near future it's going to be more than a tool it's going to be part of your decision making it's going to be part of designing your culture it's going to be part of designing your brand position it's going to be part of uh, understanding the analytics designing the strategies it's going to be way bigger than what it is right now here is how the generative ai landscape is going to evolve in the near future the generative ai tools that we are seeing in the market right now are being used by various organizations but in the near future they are not going to be just used, but also going to be trained by the user organizations. For what? For better accuracy, for better understanding of the position of their organization and then come up with the communications or the suggestions on the strategy or suggestions on the ad campaigns or write post articles. They want to train the AI tools with respect to the unique position of the organization that carries in the market. And who does this training? Generative AI operations. Or you can say that as of now, marketing operations team who looks after the technical aspects of the marketing, they might look at the generative AI operations as well. Generative AI operations include prompt engineering, integrating the AI tools, training the AI tools, making sure that AI tools outcomes are bettered each and every iteration. And also making sure that generative AI tools are well integrated with the other technological systems. Here are some of the activities that Gen AI can do in marketing and sales. Be it writing up copy, posts, articles, preparing presentation or even proposals for sales team, emailers, stories, narratives, use cases, videos, images, or preparing analytics, dashboards, reports, uh, designing ads, uh, trying to automate set of tasks, contribute through predictive analytics, predictive insights, uh, a driven chatbot, sales enablement tasks, or even simplifying daily selling or marketing tasks. Having said all these, is it all so cozy with generative AI? No. There are few risks that are associated with generative AI. The very first one is about the accuracy. The generative AI tools have to be well trained to make sure the accuracy is delivered. We can't bank on generative AI tools and the error margin is unpredictable case to case. Apart from your own training to your generative AI tools, there are also language models which are coming outside your organization and there are chances that it can misalign your generative AI tool with your objectives or outcomes. And the third risk that is associated with generative AI is data bias. When you're using generative AI for decision making or for analytics, it's very important that the data that you are embedding into the tool shouldn't have any biases or in the way that you are asking the questions your generative AI shouldn't have any bias. Having said all this, with the risk associated, there is a lot for all of us marketers and sales to leverage from generative AI.